Julie. So after working nearly 40 years as a nurse, there is this Texas woman you're about to meet. She says that she lost her job for refusing to take what's called implicit bias training. It's a two hour course. She says it would have required her to admit to being racist. Joining us now, Laura Morgan, a program manager with Do Not Harm, an organization of medical professionals and others that fight identity politics. Okay, so you've been a nurse for 39 years. You say that you've always cared for all your patients equally, but this implicit bias training basically calls you a liar because it says that you need to admit to being racist in order to keep your job, and that's a mandate you refused. So tell us what happened. Well, thank you, Julie, for having me this morning. I'm honored to be here. And implicit bias training does operate on the concept that all healthcare workers are implicitly biased against their patients and must make decisions at the point of care based on things that don't have anything to do with the medical care of the patient. And this type of training and other radical ideologies that are infiltrating healthcare and what do no harm is here to fight back against are really causing divisiveness between the relationship of trust between doctors and nurses and their patients. Right. You know, okay, so there's a bit of a difference here. Now, every corporation in America has an HR department and oftentimes they hold these conferences where they teach you obviously what is discrimination, what is not, because they have to alert employees to prevent discrimination from happening in the workplace. But you fear that every healthcare professional is soon going to be forced to make the same awful decision you did, having to falsely admit to being racist. That's a completely different subject here or abandon the medical field. And you're actually right. Put up the six states uh, that um, are currently mandating this explicit training and, and implicit bias training, California, Maryland, Kentucky, Michigan, Minnesota, Washington, and more are going to follow. What message does that send? Well, the message that implicit bias training sends to healthcare providers is that it tells them to look at their patients through an ideological lens instead of a clinical one. And this takes away the focus of what healthcare providers are here to do in taking care of patients' medical needs. So these states that are already requiring this, it's a condition of licensure. And so nurses, doctors, other healthcare professionals in these states are not able to obtain their licenses without taking this training, which tells them that they are unconsciously biased against their patients and make poor decisions based on those biases that result in poor patient outcomes. And that's just very yeah. degrading to the profession. All right. Laura Morgan, good luck to you. And thank you for talking to us this morning. Good luck. Thank you for having me.